Hi everyone, welcome back again. Same today, doing my pipe work and fittings and stuff. Same, just making a start on it now. That's me temps on one side. Definitely starting to take shape now. I'm trying to use as much old fit as I can. That thing is making me sweat in here. I'm going to turn it off in a minute. So it really gets hot in this room. The drum system. So we do need to get this all done, get it fitted, get the Nexus out as well. I need to get stuck into that as soon as I can. Tempest, all connected up. Hi everyone, welcome back again. So in today, we're going to finally start to get this connected up so we can get it up and running and get them fry and move those into here. So we've got the two tempests going on and the backy shower up there, it's all been connected up and stuff. So I can crack on with it now. So I've been waiting to get all the fire acid up and done, just been getting a chance to do it really. I'm saying this isn't too bad now, we can get cracked in with this and do this at night times and stuff like that. But So I've got a couple of day, more days off work with Biddy and uh, Christmas holidays and stuff, so we can get cracked in and get it done. So I'll turn you around now and show you exactly what we're doing. This is what we're doing today, hopefully, get it all uh, sorted out. So we've got the tempest this side, which is going there, and another tempest which is going on this side here. But saying it's going to be a bit tight to get through here, but I'm not fussed about that, because I'll, I'll get through as I can now. I don't even need to get through there really now. Once this drum filter's in here, there's going to be loads of room, because it's going to come to about here somewhere. So we've got all that pathway. Come walk into here, straight down to there, and get to the quarantine tank. So we're glad all that's done now. The fumes are definitely gone. Well happy with it. Like you say, that's going to it. The heater as well. Dry it out down there. It's nice, nice and warm in here. So that'll be done eventually, get all that out of the way and uh, get a new filter in. But saying this one, Tempest, Tempest, this one here, I'll probably return around it here so it can send the water around and give a good flow for the frying everything so they can push against and not put too much weight on with the back ends and stuff. So keep them healthy. And this one here, we're going across here. That's the media all in there, the good uh, bacteria and stuff to collect up in the backy shower. So we'll probably come across across here, up here, and into there, and I'll be catching up into that one. So I don't exactly know which pump we're going to use, so I'm going to put a pump over this corner, or this corner here, so the water can push around, well, probably this corner here, put it here, then the pipe, what it turns here, will come down and push all the way around, and hopefully push the crap as well into there, so keep the flow going, keep them all there uh, moving. But other than that, well happy with that now, so I can get crap on with this, all that sorted now, so I'm get the pipe work out of the shed and get all cracked into it, and then we go from there. So in these valves on these Tempest, these are uh, Velta ones, are crap. So the rubber seals always go in them, and you shut them up and down. It's quite tight now; it'll probably work now still. But I'm taking that out. I'm going to cut that tight there. So it's going to be a really tight fitting. And put another fitting on there, and go from that and work it out. We're going to all do. So they're coming out. And that one's coming off as well. But so the other one's still got one on, that's the grey fitting, I'll show you that in a minute, well in a bit, how all that goes on there. I'll probably keep that one on, on there, I don't know yet, but so I'm going to cut that there, tight as I can, that'll be chucked away, tight as I can there, and put a fitting on that, the same on this one, it's uh, really tight on there, I'm just saying they're definitely going, I'm going to put some uh, different valves on there to shut them off. It's in this tank now, it's been empty for quite some while now. It's not being used, so I'm gonna. That's the Tempest, which is going the other side. I'm taking it out today. Same again, cutting that around here. Not 100%. I might be using them valves, like I was saying earlier on. So these valves are a lot better. These ones. I can feel a difference in them. A lot better seal on them. And the, I think the Velta, you can call them. In the V. So they're a lot better than Sepex. The seals are a lot better in them. A lot, lot better. I'm saying I think I have Evolution Nacre run out of the cheaper ones and had to use these because I couldn't get them because they're mass supplied with sell on these. So I'm going to cut all this off today, all around here, <clears throat> get all that gone. So we're going to cut all this off and get outside and start catching up as well as the one on the other side. So in there's all my pipe work and fittings and stuff. Saying so uh, CWD, he dropped them off for me this morning. So we've got three lengths of inch and a half, a uh, length of two inch, so there's plenty to get on with, a couple of valves. So I've got valves and I've got bits and pieces of this as well, but I don't think I'll have enough to do it all like. We're saying the main thing was the piping that I needed and he's dropped it off for me. So I do appreciate that. Uh, cheers, Cal. We've got plenty of inch and a half elbows. Plenty of those. Plenty of two inch elbows. Offsets, tees. Got a couple of inch and a half tees. Uh, offset twos. A few two inch uh, 
straights, a couple of unions, so there's plenty to go on with there. So, saying cheers again for Cal, dropping them off to us for CWD. Do appreciate it. So now I can get cracked in, plenty to do in there. I can get it all finished before the new year, before I go back working at you see. So we'll see how we go from there. So I'm well happy now. Plenty to get on with. All that pipe work and everything. Get cracked in there. Let's go and get it all sorted out. Just making a start on it now. That's me temps on one side. So I've got to put the temps on the other. I'm trying to use as much old fittings as I can. So I've got a bag full of old fittings here and stuff. Well, they're not old fittings, the fittings what I've had in the past and just saved. That's an old fitting. And there, just a bag full that I've been keeping. I've got a couple of joints in there. I have got some more somewhere, but I cannot find them anywhere. I've got two valves, new valves that I bought a long time ago. Uh, we've got another ERA valve, which is one up there. It's a new one on there. This is an old one, but say it's not been used that much, so I'll be using this one somewhere, probably around here on this section. So probably have the two ERA ones at the top, and the cheaper ones, the ones there, the blue valve ones. They're not brilliant ones, but they do the job. So they do get a bit stiff, but I will loosen them off inside first, so it's not as stiff. And uh, hope that seals up. And the bottom valve here. So I will be putting an inch pipe on there and having another like an A valve or one of these valves at the bottom because then obviously get a lot of koi teeth stuck in these you see so that makes sense get rid of that one I'll leave it in and put a piece to it and uh, I'll probably even put air to it just to make it bubble a lot better so it still does work for me on the other systems so whatever I'm doing on the other systems is doing right so keep what I'm doing I'm saying this one needs to be finished off around here I just temporarily put in there now, obviously, can get that up there. So, there's nothing's fixed here on this section. Obviously, this is fixed here on this one. So, just open there's enough bike work here to use all these bits up across there. We can finish that section. It's got all little bits. And in the other filter room, filter room lead, where the other tank are, the tank is where the other temp is. This. That's got a lot of pipe work there as well, I can use as well. So, I might even do it all actually. But we definitely need pipe work for this on this section, get it all finished. That thing is making me sweat in here. I'm going to turn it off in a minute. So it really gets hot in this room. It's only set at, what was set at? Oh, 13 degrees is set at. It's really getting good temperature in here. Keeping me warm. So it took my hat off of sweating. So I'm going to get cracked on with this now. Get over Tempest. Well, get this bit set up here first, fixed together. So I don't want it falling off. I just knocked it a minute ago and it did start coming out to catch it quick. I don't want it getting broke like. Get that connected up. Work out what I'm doing here. Get that across there. Get over Tempest up. I'm going to go from there. I'll come back to you in a bit, and it's all connected up, ready to go in and uh, try to work out the pump and I'm not going to do in there. Just decided as well I'm going to use this Aquafort 20,000, I didn't grab it, Aquafort 20,000 Verde pump. It's from 34 watts, 187. I won't be using the full 20,000 because it's only for two Tempest. The same because there's a good clean out. So I've been using it on the swim pool with the fryware. Last season, well this season should I say, just gone. So give it a good clean out now. I'm going to use that one on the system in there as well. So it did well out there, it was running two uh, filters for the pumps. Uh, the pump was running two filters should I say. Just wants a good clean out. It's got everything else to it. So I'll probably run that about 65%. So that would be like 120 odd watts, it'll probably run somewhere there. So that would be a good system, a uh, good pump for the system that's running on there. So. I'm trying to work out first now before I get the rest of this connected up. I'm thinking of putting the pump down here, this part, coming up, coming underneath here, and coming down, down here somewhere. Uh, maybe put a T or something like that in that section there. Still a bit of working out to do, what I'm going to do with it, but other than that, it's going to crack when it's all done. I'll tell you something as well, I've got more fittings and more pipe work than I thought actually, just had a good route. Outside, around the crap, it's at the bottom of the garden, or top of the garden. Got a laser fan there, a lot of bits of two inch pipe. So, what I'm going to do on this pump, I'm going to zoom in, I'm going to put that in there and leave it on a rubber as well so it's easy accessible in the future if you have a gold or anything like that, need to take it out and need to stir, sort it out really. So, I'm going to put that on there, that'll go in the pond. There's plenty of pipe there from coming to the pond, coming across here. And probably put a, a union or something there so I can undo it as well. So I can undo that section across there and have a look really. So, other than that, I'm well happy with that. Bits and pieces everywhere. So, I mean, a bit of an order as we can see with sheds and everything, but it all comes in handy. So, there's a reason for keeping it with all this lot going on there. So, makes sense. Keep it, uh, anything decent, hold on to it, 
and it will come in handy one day. We're starting to get a, little, a lot of crap out there, sheds as well, they'll all start to disappear now, they've got too much, but obviously, bits and pieces at least that, use them up, save some money, can't be bad. Definitely starting to take shape now, so I'll show you in a bit, this lot here, how it's all working. Right, it's got a jump in here now, it has got a bit of water in still from uh, the test of the other week. Uh, I've got a jump in, so I've got loads of old bits, still, what I'm using up, across here. That one will be going inside there, in that section. Got to work it out now, come across. There's an old piece what I've cut off, I'm trying to work it out, see if we can use it. So he's uh, spending more money on fittings and stuff. Well, paying for these fittings what I've got here. So it makes sense, go up there, try to work it out, and see what I can get on there. So let's also turn this round here. So obviously the inlet was that way before, but take it off, pull it out, and the inlet going in this side here. So we're gonna get in there now, jump in, as well he's on, get over there, put some more PTFE on these as well. So I'll undo that, put some more PTFE on that one, the same again. Got a lot of PTFE around this section here. Give it a good wrap in, chuck it in there and wind it in. And there we go. I'm jumping down now, get that bit done, get it connected up, and then finish the rest off all around here and that. But other than that, looking quite good now. And there we go, all this section is all done now. So I've just took these out of here and put some more PTFE tape on it as well, as I'll show you. Took it all out, got all crap on it. Obviously pushed it all down and put some uh, new stuff all around it. Same again the other side. All that's connected up now. All around. So I've not wasted any pipe work early. I've used most of the bits and bobs, all pieces. That's the same a minute ago. That's that piece going across. Up there. Across there. Into there. On this section here as well. I've put a inch and a half straight in there. Because it's a two inch pipe this one on the shower. So it's an inch and a half straight into there. Straight in. So an inch and a half straight piece does go in a two inch uh, joint anyway. So if you sand it down, you can get it in so you can always connect up that way if you've never out in reducers. So it makes sense. Put it straight in or elbow, anything you want to do, just put it straight in a two inch piece. It will go in, sand it down a little bit, push in, solve it, weld it all up. So the ones that I get to do anyway, so I've done that a few in the past. So I'm saying I put a bracket on here as well, nice and solid. So I'm put some pieces of wood there. So it's all stuck on at the back. He said I will paint them afterwards like. I've just put loads of painter's cork all down here as well. Stop any draft or anything coming through on this side. So I'll try to keep it as warm as I can with the heat or anything in here. But so in the next couple of days when that's dry, I don't want to paint it straight away because it'll just crack. So in a couple of days time, give it a paint up again. And that'll be all tidied up and all nice and fresh in here again. But so in that's all connected now. All going through there. And the shower is ready to go on. And so these bits down here. Just gotta finish off the outside. And now I'm just going to do the pump at the bottom, if you can see it. So I'm going to put a clip on that, a clip, and tape up. I've done the same there before. And I'll connect it up in here. As you can see, I put a union on there, so it makes sense. It's dead easy. Take off there, put back on again. Can always mess around the pump in the future. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to tape all this up. I'm just going to put another duplicate clip on there, tape up like I did with the other one before. So the fish can't bang myself on this. As you can see now, I've just put two jubi clips on. And to there, taped it all up. So the fish can't knock itself all on there now. So the reason why I put a rubber on it, just makes it easier if I want to change it in the future. It just comes off nice and easy. So I could have put a solvent weld piece in there, but I didn't want to do that really. So it's made sense, just put the rubber on it. Take it out there, stop the fish knocking on it. No problem with that at all. So it'll be in the corner down here anyway. It's not a problem. So now the cage on these is a lot better on these because they've got a thread on it. You can wind the thread in, so it makes sense. It won't come off or nothing, you see. Like uh, the 10,000 EA ones, uh, they got a clip, just push in, and they're quite crap really on there because I've got one in the side there and another system. It does come off, so I've had to put like some zippy ties around it just to hold it on to make sure it doesn't uh, come off like and suck any fish inside it. So it's a lot better idea, that one. It's on a thread inside it, winds on, the cage does. There's no problem with there. So small fish in that. Well, tiny fish will get through that with a smaller fish uh, over an inch and a half. You won't get in there at all, so kind of felt that. That's all done. Put that union back on here now. Tidal this crap out of here. Get all that done. It's in the shower. Now he's looking absolute mint. 
Leave it all aside here. As I will paint all that afterwards. When it's all nice and dry, the coat in the corner. We've stopped any draft going through. But other than that, looking smashing now. So we didn't do bad at all with uh, the old fittings. We used quite a few of them. So you probably used, uh, well, we used one two inch elbow. They're probably about five, five or six of the inch and a half elbows. I think it's four of those he used. Or three or four of those. Uh, T out of T and one union. That's all I used out of that. Oh, and sorry, the valve as well. Another valve because I had three valves myself. Obviously, an old one and two, but I'd knock it about. But we didn't do too bad really. All the old fittings, use them up. I say he's using all new stuff, but I do need quite a lot of that for the, the drum system. So we do need to get this all done, get it fitted, get the Nexus out as well. So we need a lot of fittings, like you see, a lot of fittings there. Should do all that. But all I'm short of a thing is a four inch cap, uh, end cap on there. But I'll see if I can get a couple of them ordered. So hopefully do that for the weekend. But we'll see. Don't know if I'm doing that yet, we don't know. I have to make sure I've got everything first and I'll take it outside. We'll get some water in it to make sure it's all working as well. The float switch and everything you see, because it's on pump fed. Need to turn that round. I don't know. I need to still watch a few videos about it, but I do need that. Get that connected up. So it's been here for a few years, just sitting there. It needs to be used. Let's get it in there. So we've got plenty of fittings for it now. We've got a valve there. I think we've got another two-inch valve somewhere as well. But we've got valves in there already for that as well. So let's get stuck into that as soon as I can. And there we are. Two Tempest all connected up. Well happy with that now. Well happy. So I love this bit of job, all the pipe work and stuff, it's absolutely crazy. Got fittings everywhere, turns everywhere, same again, all this lot. So it is used pipe, used it all up. So there's a, a few new pieces, but saying a lot of it, saying this was all an old piece, that's how it was, and one of the old systems, all there used up. But saying this system is going to absolutely run perfect really, kind of fault it. So then we've got the 20,000 EA pump coming up through here, through this elbow. Straight for the union, so that union makes it easier. If you need to take that off again, so it makes sense. Coming down into here, come through the T, so it'll tee off through this one here, straight for the valve, come up here, straight back up there again for the Tempest. Across here, up here through another valve, straight into the Evo 25 UV. So I don't really need that in here because it doesn't get a lot of sun in here. Obviously, what we'll do now, obviously, the solar panels up top. But it makes sense, I've got it, so I might as well use it. So it's off the other tank out there. So I'll probably get 40, 50 quid for it, it's not worth selling. So I might as well use it and put it on here. I've always got a UV just for, in case, like. So then we're coming up above, across there, into there, and into the shower. I'm only running the shower, probably about 6,000, 7,000 litres. I don't want to push a lot more through that. But saying the other systems are working perfect on 7,000 litres, well, 6 to 7,000 litres. This one was. And there's not a problem with that. A lot of people like putting 10, 20, 30,000 through all the shower. I know it's only a smaller shower, it's 600 light, but it's quite a wide one. Got a lot of media in there. But it's worked for me in the past. I'm not saying it's right, but it's working. It's catching the good bacteria and the fish and everything, the tulsi in the other tank. There's 70 tulsi in there, probably 25, 27 cm. And it worked, the Tempest and the backy shower. So it worked for me before, so why won't it work for me again now? So we've got that one in there. So we've got the other one coming down, coming across, through the valve again, up for the Tempest, coming across here, through this other valve, then back into the water here. But this is pushing round, so they can keep the fish fit like, going around there, so we want some flow. So obviously you've not got through the wall or nothing, so want some good flow running round to keep the fish active, keep them all getting fit through there, so it makes sense with that really. But I can turn this up and down, the flow on here. I don't have to have it all going through here. I can turn that down to 20,000 litres an hour. But we can turn it down again on the... I turned that way, because obviously I'm going to put the switch on here, up and down on here. So I can turn it down, set it what I want. Or save again, open the valve so much, going through there, don't let loads through, and that'll do the job really. So I'm well happy with it. So then uh, I put a strap on here for now. So it's a piece of wire just onto there. I will make some brackets for it. I'm saying I don't want to do I'm not going to pay 40 quid for a set of brackets for each side. It cost me 80 quid. And I haven't got the money, 80 quid to spend. So whatever I've got, I'm going to make something for it. I'm saying that's absolutely fine now. It's solid, not going nowhere. So it's got a bracket on there. 
bracket on here, bracket on this one, bracket the same again there, and a bracket there, a bracket on this. It's all solid, it's not going nowhere. Solid, rigid pipe, so we should be fine with that really. But get some water in tonight, get all this crap out of here, all the bits and bobs like, so all the fire ass and stuff in there. But other than that, I'm well happy with that now. Over the moon with it. So I'm over the moon with that now. It's all connected up. I'm well happy with it. So in the next few days, hopefully, we can get some fish in here. But so I'm going to top up with water the next couple of days. Well, probably start top up tonight. So I'm come out and turn the holes off later on. Tomorrow, they're all filled up. Get all the bits out. It's got a lot of bits at the bottom. All the crap and that, and the fiberglass and stuff like you see. There's a bit of a mess in there, so all that needs to come out. Fiberglass, bits and pieces. Get in there and there, scoop all that out. Saying so once it's all filled up, get some work on in. I don't need to light, but I'm going to get it in inside here. So it is media, been used, nothing up with light. Same with that. Want the work on going through, any bad bacteria sitting in there, so let's get rid of it and go from there, really. Other than that, well happy with it. I didn't think I was going to get another video out before the new year, but. Uh, this one should be out before then. So I do appreciate it. Those people that subscribe to us, uh, haven't said if you wouldn't mind subscribing to us, appreciate it. And uh, those that subscribe to us, thank you again. Thumbs up. And uh, happy new year. Hope you have a good one. And all the best to everyone. Hopefully see you on the next one.